Hi, I'm Vishweshwar. In this video, we are going to see working of email and what is email all about. So when we say email, it's a very common thing that every person will have an email address to send and receive their data. So here, um, when we go into the topic, the email on internet is very essential and the three elements, the important things are the email client and email server that's SMTP, POP and IMAP server. Let's see that in detail. The email client. Email client is nothing but uh, the, the it acts like a client computer or a client device where you can send or receive your emails. So in that case, here there is a list of messages from people that uh, people have sent to you either it can be and uh, some contents of sender and the subject of the message some uh, it also mentions the time of uh, when you have received it you can also come uh, compose a new message to the person when you know an email address and you can reply to your email and also forward it to many people and you also have an option to delete it. The email claims are standalone, like Microsoft um, and some of the other are very common one. This Microsoft Outlook is one has to be configured into the computer or your phones, where it will help you to receive emails from various uh, email services like uh, Gmail, Yahoo. So they are some of the email web uh, web services that they give uh, email for free. So these emails can be configured using this uh, Microsoft Outlook, and you can receive the emails into your computer or your devices. Email server. When when you send a message from your email client, the email doesn't directly go to the receiver's side uh, it, it it uses the help of pop imap services where in between the server so here the email server what it does is when you compose an email it goes through internet and it goes to the mail server that there are some mail servers that is a, your sender's email server at first from your sender's email address it verifies and then it redirects to uh, the receiver's email server in the receiver's email server it again checks for the right information whether you are able, you are sending to the right person and it gets delivered to the client of your receiver the client of the receiver's information that you are given so the pop and imap serv services of messages are very important while you send an email through internet to the server and server back to your receiver's email and the smtp servers are widely used in email services and the SMTP server is also known as mail transfer agent. This is the term that is used in the server, the mail transfer agent. POP and IMAP server. We know that POP and IMAP server are some of the servers or the services that is really important to send and receive an email. The POP stands for post office protocol or it is also said like POP3 server and here in this uh, the POP stores the messages for a particular user in the form of text and also said to be like uh, the POP3 protocol when it fetches the email through the email client then requesting sending by the pop server for the same which means that the pop and the pop3 means the same as it is used used to fetch email data from the client the pop server requests a login credentials for the users which means like the user 
has to log in and and also and should be sent an email only with the proper authentication otherwise will not be able to send an email the email client interacts with the pop server through three different uh, predefined set as commands there are some few commands that are runs at the background of pop server that makes use of uh, the complete access of the POP server. Let us see that in detail. And here are some of the commands that for a user ID, that's for a user to log in, U-S-E-R, for the user ID, for the password P-A-S-S, -S, and to provide a message list, that is L-I-S-T, to delete a message, D-E-L-E, -E, to end, the interactions q u i t and for the pop p o p the port number is 110 the client ensures that the commands description above everything are to authenticate to fetch email to list emails and an an option to delete an email also and there is a drawback in POP server is that once if a client, an email client, fetches the email from the server, it happens like uh, an access cannot get downloaded on another device or on another client. But it also stores the copy into the server for a backup. So maintenance of email is somewhat difficult to the client side to see or if uh, if the email is deleted by mistake but server manages and keeps all as a, a multiple copy of emails as a backup to the server and that's the management of the emails IMAP stands for internet message access protocol this IMAP is similar to the POP, but it is far better than the POP. IMAP is far better than the POP. The IMAP server keeps emails on the server itself and also it gives you a permission to access or a future to access the email on any machine or any device. And this server also provides an easy management by searching the categories or making a categorized way of email arrangements placing your subfolders creating a subfolders making all email junks into one e one folder and you can it's very easy nowadays also like it's easy to fetch the data from the email and today we see that the technology has improved that we are able to see emails even when it is an offline. To interact with the server, the IMAP server's port number is 143. And as, as similar to the POP and the IMAP, the server, it understands uh, some other set of commands also where the email clients use to connect to the server now let us see a small architecture diagram for explaining the email so from the email client is trying to send an email using its local area connection or through internet and in the server there is a mail transfer agent the MTA as we have seen before it's MTA is responsible for the transferring the email in the server part and it transfers to the through the internet the internet is the median to transfer it once on the internet and it transfers redirects to the right email address or it redirects to the right domain of email let us see what is domain and before that it transfers to the uh, right domain and it tries to receive using POP IMAP server. So with these two protocols, it tries to receive the email to the receiver's side. And now the message is delivered 
to the right agent that is to the right receiver's client and domain is nothing but the name domain is nothing but uh, like an example like yahoo gmail the one which gives you an email service that is what domain means here so so like gmail yahoo outlook are gives you an email service that is to create or to replay an email sometimes it is also saved in draft and you can also send back that information from the draft uh, from the draft to the receiver's email address anytime and there is a small syntax like uh, uh, to send an email a sender and receiver should have an email address in this format so here sh there should be the name of uh, the email at gmail.com or yahoo.com so this is the domain so the email has to be uh, done using a sender's information and the receiver need not know the sender's information so once when it is received we will know we can be able to read it reply for it and forward it so this is all uh, email all so in order to explain in detail the email client is very important that's the one which sends you the email a sender this is from the sender's part and this is from the receiver's part and he's trying to send an email using his median that is to a local area network or a wireless with the help of internet and he does it uh, when, once when he sends it goes through the MTA that's a mail transfer agent that's a protocol in their server part and that redirects to the right email domain server the right domain server and then with the help of the POP post office protocol and IMAP server protocol with these two protocols is going to receive to the receivers mail plane so this is how the email works.